This week on the cover of the Georgia Strait, we're featuring Cheech and Chong. And why might you ask? Let me count the ways. First of all, Cheech and Chong are doing a reunion concert at Van in Vancouver at the Queen Elizabeth Theater next Friday, December 5th. They're going to have two shows. Number two, Cheech and Chong got their start in Vancouver, which many people don't realize. It was in a club owned by Tommy Chong's brother. It was a strip club, actually, and, and Tommy didn't want to fire the strippers, or so the story goes, so they were incorporated into the act. Number three, I think they're funny, but also I think a lot of people think they're funny because Cheech and Tommy went down to California and hit it big and did movies like Up in Smoke. But the fourth reason, which is my favorite for f putting them on the, on the cover of the Georgia Strait, is that Tommy Chong has emerged as a civil rights hero. In 2003, police with dogs and helicopters invaded his home in California and arrested him because he was selling pipes over the internet, marijuana pipes. It was in violation of a U.S. law that was actually written, co-written by Joe Biden, who's the vice president-elect. and. John Ashcroft, who was the Attorney General of the day in the Bush administration, wanted to shut down the, the drug paraphernalia business and they made an example of Tommy Chong and he pleaded guilty and he had to serve nine months in jail. He was sentenced on uh, September 11th, 2003 and this is all covered in the, in the film AKA Tommy Chong. So when Tommy Chong comes out on stage at the Queen Elizabeth next Friday, I hope the audience keeps in mind how much effort he's put in speaking out on behalf of inmates who were incarcerated across the United States as a result of the drug laws. And also they might want to think about Mark Emery, who is a Vancouver marijuana seed vendor who is facing extradition and a minimum of 15 years in jail in the United States because he was selling seeds and the U.S. government is prosecuting him. It's interesting to see because with the Obama administration coming in, what it looks like Barack Obama is choosing as an Attorney General, Eric Holder, who was the Deputy Attorney General in the Clinton administration, which was the period when the greatest increase occurred in prosecutions for marijuana. So when Tommy comes out, I wouldn't be surprised to see him put in a good word for Mark Emery, and we'll see if Mark Emery's in the stage, in the audience, or even if he's allowed up on stage. For the Georgia Strait, I'm Charlie Smith.